What's your name and where are you from? Deborah Johnson, Camano Island, Washington. <laughs> what would you give? Like, what advice would you give to someone who right now that has one, you mentioned not wanting to cut into the Kiwi Club kit, right? Um, so mm -hmm. there is that roadblock, that hesitation. It, it's a hesitation. And then, or has not quite, you know, really like to use the kits. They're still sitting in like, not necessarily taking full advantage of, yes, the club membership gets you a beautiful kit each month, but along with that memberships is the ideas, the events, and, you know, really trying to immerse in learning that routine. So I don't know if there's really, other than if they just want to keep watching YouTube videos or the videos that you share on social media, I don't think there is a way to experience um, the inspiration, freedom, and accomplishment without doing what we are doing in the club community right now. I don't, I don't, you, because it was experiencing it, like it was your last picture perfect day that I said, this, this is, I've never been inspired by picture perfect. It was, I'm pretty task driven. So that was never like a inspiration time or a time to be fulfilled. But the last one that you had, I went, yeah, that is what this time is for. Nothing else. I don't need to feel guilty for taking this time, but that's what I'm going to do so that two or three steps from now, I can sit and, and play. And do the next step. And I really right. loved how you said that because you're starting to enjoy those pre-steps and actually find joy out of those other steps because it's not just we all get to sit down and scrapbook every time. Yeah, we have to figure out our pictures and we have to figure out some of our photo or papers. And if you happen to get the full club kit, then some of that heavy lifting as far as paper is done for you. But if not, there is some pre-steps that get you to the point, but you can find joy in those steps as well. Right. And so that's pretty new. But so um, with those that I've been talking to on Facebook that are reaching out to me, and then mm -hmm. I've been trying to direct them, um, is I, I don't really think that somebody would be able to determine if it worked for them without going through the process that we, um, the whole process. Right. So yes, that was fun for me uh, to um, start to do the play to create system, mm -hmm. but the the floodgate opened with I think you said that you asked Shiloh and Debbie what their process was to get done what you guys get done. So you I don't even in in all three of you were doing the same thing. And right. You, we, I, I took what I was doing and asked him similar, what are you guys doing? And I realized we're all doing the same type of process. And I said, then this is what we, we shared the method. We shared the system. Let's share a routine. Let's share with these individuals right. what the routine is that we're getting these pages done. And that was, that was the biggie for me for this year. Cause I've taken every kit. I have found photos that work for it. Um, and, uh, and just now, we're, what are we, three quarters through the year? Mm -hmm. Now I'm even enjoying each of those steps. Before they were like, oh, I have to do this so that I can get ready for PJ play date. Right. Um, and so it's good to get those on the calendar. I don't, I probably would have stuck, been stuck for a long time if you guys hadn't shared your routine. So, and then, and for the people before me that got it without you sharing that good for them. I didn't, I wasn't doing it until well, I'm glad I'm really oh. glad and I, I'm seeing it play really effective for you. I mean, I feel like every week you're posting another layout and you're going back to the past kits and getting them out. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, Deborah is just like getting those out. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys sharing it because, um, I needed that method and like you, you know, for you guys, it was job. You're getting to mix work and pleasure. So you had to get that done by a deadline. And right. I didn't have those dates on the calendar or those deadlines. So right. I could just sit there and imagine and to the point where the kits were just stacking up. 
right? Imagine, but then not really actually doing. Absolutely. You know, it's funny. Everyone always asks like, oh, do you go to scrapbook for a living? And I was like, uh, no. I was like, I get to scrapbook still for fun. It is, it is related to work for sure. But when they ask, well, like, you know, I'm like, what I do for a living is run a business. Yeah. That's what I do for a living. And all <laughs> the parts that go with that. All yeah, the but I mean, I'm in meetings all day and other things all day long. So no, my eight to five is not scrapbooking. In my evenings, I get to do some tasks. And yes, when I scrapbook, I also, it rolls over to some business objectives, you know, but um, but it's always so funny. I went to things like scrapbook all day and I'm like, nope, you don't get to scrapbook all day. <laughs> but- I love scrapbooking is my preferred hobby. And so despite that, even without that, I want, like, if I have a long day, I use my evenings. I'm like, I'm going to put some music on and I'm going to scrapbook. It's, you know, kind of that nice, that nice relaxer.